did some plumbing on the old swim pactor. What's the swim pactor? What's well, the trash compactor? I'm turning into a swim pool. I'm Ryan, Maker 238. This here is my channel, and this will be my swimming pool here in about a couple weeks. Uh, tag along with me. I'm gonna try my hardest to get the plumbing sorted out, and I kind of go over a couple of ideas that I got. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get to work. Well, I've already done some stuff. Let me catch you guys up and we'll figure out uh, what all we're gonna do in this here episode. Well, well, what's that? Oh man, look at what we got. Mmm, I got a couple ideas on this. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a couple ideas I've got going on that. We will go over here shortly, but in the last episode, I mentioned going out and getting some steel plates and making a little sandwich. I went ahead and did that. Goodness gracious, that was a lot of holes to drill. But Ryan, why is there only four holes up here? Let me show you. Not thinking like I always do. Those are no problem but i can't get to that one so my thoughts is and go get a long drill bit drill a pilot drill an oversized hole sideways put the plate on and then drill those four holes if i have to let me tell you why one these drill bits right here, these spider, I got them at Lowe's. These things are awesome. Uh, I drilled through all the plates with this one, and then I switched over to this one to do on the pool, and it's done an excellent job. And I've got the plates over here ready to go, but I got, oh God, that's hot. I got pooped out drilling all these holes what is it like 12 o'clock i started at like 9 9 to 10 to 11 to 12 three hours of drilling that sucked and the reason i'm putting these plates on is just to help kind of reinforce this from wanting to oh my god from wanting to buckle from the pressure of the water pushing out which i doubt that it will um it, it will a little bit I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fool myself. It's definitely gonna bow a little bit because water weighs a lot. But I'm only gonna do those four bolts all the way around for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else, fill it up because this is on the outside. I can add stuff on the outside without draining the pool. And if I need to fix something on this thing in the next season, that's not a problem. I drain it. I've got some of those uh, big water containers so I can drain my water into those water containers, fix my problem, pump the water right back in. Problem solved. So if something needs to be fixed, that's how we're going to fix it. I notice I didn't take a lot of uh, time to go around the pool, kind of show how everything got executed. I mean, there's some spots like that cosmetically, but I mean, hey, it's outside of a pool. Still a little soft there. It's been on there, I don't know, almost a week now. I guess right at a week. Jonathan and Patrick came over last week, helped me. And so we'll cut this out for the skimmer. I already got my holes drilled for my jets. Yeah. I just, I like looking, I'm still amazed myself, you know? Look at that paint. There are some imperfect, some spots where you can see I didn't get all the way down. But, considering what a hot mess this thing was, hopefully y'all can see that pretty good. It turned out really good, and here's this janky corner. And that's got, one and a half, 
<laughs> one and a half ish layers of primer if that's a thing but okay ryan enough talking so what are we going to do today we're going to finish sorting out that we're going to let them uh, uh, uh. we're going to let those uh those things dry we got those primed but we have everything on hand to do our plumbing yeah yeah and i hadn't even opened the skimmer up yet help us that it's the right one um i got a tripod don't i hope everybody's having an awesome day i am because i get to do this with you guys and i'm gonna tell you what um hmm hmm as someone that deals with uh being in my head a lot this helps me out a lot doing these kind of projects where i talk to you guys and i and i get my thoughts out and i talk more when i work um because i found when i was in the shop before youtube i would just get in my head so much to like when i would come out of the shop i'd be like hey babe hey kids no daddy was just working you know and i would be because all of that would stay in, you know, and I do better when I just talk to myself. But I'm talking to y'all, not really talking to myself. So we got the skimmer here. We need a hole. First try, let's see what it does. Ah! Ah! That's a first try! Heck yeah! Is that... Um... I mean, I don't think that I'm an expert at pulls, but I can safely say that I know a heck of a lot more about pulls now than I did at the start. And that's what you do with projects, man. You pick ones that challenge you as a maker. Um, that's what I call myself. I call myself a maker. This came. Oh. Vac plate. So that's where I hook my vacuum up to. Return inlet. Return inlet. I don't know a thing about this. And uh, I'll start laying out some plumbing. That's exciting. The door. Do you want to go over how the door is going to go together? Yeah. Let's go in there. Lego. All right. So, we got some pond shield coming. It should be here Saturday. Um, had an excellent conversation with the guy over there that's in charge of Pond Armor. No, he is from Pond Armor, and the product is called Pond Shield. So, if y'all ever am doing anything similar where you need to seal anything that's outdoor, indoor, fish tank, uh, ponds, pools, anything up to like 145 degrees. So, you might be able to even use it in a hot tub. I don't know. Um, hot tub not this not this not yet i got other stuff i want to do after this um but yeah check those guys out pond armor uh i'll put a link to their website down at the bottom but after that conversation with him um i'm gonna prime the inside with a self etching automotive grade primer so i'm gonna do that go ahead and prime the entire inside Probably scuff this up and get this back down the metal. Put the primer on. Prime all of this. Let's pause the music. Let's get serious. We're gonna pause or we're gonna prime all of this. I'm going to 
probably make a wooden uh, drilling jig out of a thin piece of plywood. I gotta go to stinking Lowe's again. Uh, out of a thin piece of plywood. Make all my holes into that evenly spaced and that's my drilling jig. I can take my drilling jig, put that onto my Lexan, drill all the same holes. I'll draw arrows so I know what's ups and downs because ooh wee that would suck. Um, I mean, you think that those little bitty things are silly. Like it's, it's repetitive things that, oh, that's just, I'll remember. But you won't. So what, what if you don't? That's why it's so good to write stuff down. Give yourself notes as you're in a project. Um, what's it going to hurt? Are you going to practice your handwriting a little bit? Uh, all right. So then I'm going to drill holes. I'm going to take my drilling uh, template, set it up here, drill the pilot holes. Drill pilot holes all the way around. This stuff is really, really strong, and I got some really strong industrial grade adhesive. It's made for this, and it's made to adhere to metal. Um, I'm not, I don't have y'all centered. I keep trying to go over to the corner. And so then, we're gonna pilot, drill some. I just had all this this morning. That's, that's how I work. I don't think about it until I'm there, because I need to give it my maximum attention. Now I'm gonna do a bunch of pilot holes, I don't know how many, oh, that's what I was getting at. The uh, adhesive is so strong, and the pressure of the water is constantly pushing this way. I won't have any forces pushing out onto those bolts. The bolts are helping the adhesive kind of give them some reinforcement, but also hold it into place when that uh, adhesive cures. Once it's done curing, I'm almost certain that just that will hold the Lexan glass up. And what I'll do is I'll scratch the back of this Lexan glass where I'm going to put the adhesive. Uh, I talked about that in, a, in another episode, that any kind of adhesive, glue, mm, uh, epoxy, even paint, think about paint, kind of the same thing, whatever surface you're putting that on, you don't want it slick and smooth because then it has nothing to grab a hold of. So if I sand the edge of this Lexan uh, glass here, before I put the silicone here, now it's got something for that silicone to adhere onto that Lexan. Almost gives it like a little bitty sandpaper effect where it, kind of like a Velcro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, are you following me, camera guy? Then put my, sil put my sealant down, put the Lexan down, put all my, I'm a, oh, drill and tap for three eighths normal bolts. Stainless steel bolts are absolutely outrageous. Or do I just do stainless steel? No, I don't want it. It's a lot of money. I've already got the three eighths bolts here and they're like that big. Drill and tap for a three eighths bolt. Bolt it in. When the pond shield is applied, I will use the pond shield almost like a silicone sealer to seal this Lexan glass to the pool. You following me? So I'm creating a lip of the pond shield that's going to go over the Lexan glass and touch the metal. I'm going to have to create probably another wooden jig that I can put on top of the Lexan glass, apply the pond shield around it, and then remove that piece of wood. That way I've got nice clean edge. See, I don't know how that's gonna work. I can always clean it up with a razor blade and a knife because it's, it's on the Lexan, right? To get it a nice clean, I just brush it. You just leave it as brush marks. Leave it as brush marks, right? Gonna be underwater, right? Underwater. So that's how I'm gonna seal the window. I'm gonna do this one. If I can do this one with at relative ease, I've got an off cut. I might do another one over there. What? Yeah, because we can't really see out. My wife and I were talking last night about the extra piece of like sand. And we could put it, theoretically, right here, right? 
What do you think? A little viewing station out. And then I can just bolt that one on from the back side. I'm adding more areas of potential problems. I know that. But I think it's gonna look really cool in the long run. So it's more work, but I think that's what we're gonna do. So it's a lot of talking. Uh, well, I wanna catch you guys up and I want to say it out loud for me too. And I haven't really done that yet on camera. Um, yeah, so that's my plan. Uh, I'm not gonna show a lot of work, I don't think. I'm gonna kinda come back. The plumbing I'll show as I do, but cutting that out and doing a bunch of miscellaneous things, I don't think I'll really show that this episode. It's hot as crap. All right, let's get going. All right, let's go over what we got. I'm running half inch pipe through the whole system. I got three sticks I'm probably gonna need. I got four sticks. I might need five, I don't know yet. Here's the skimmer. Coming out of the pool, we're gonna need a screw to slip, or threaded to slip half inch coupler. A small bit of pipe to our, uh, what's this, bonding anode. And what this does is it keeps any electrical charge off of the pool so it won't get shocked. And what I'll do is I'll do a separate whole video on this because I was very ignorant to grounds being uh, bonded. Um, and so I did a bunch of research on that. I contacted a couple of other guys on YouTube that uh, specialize in pools. And I feel like I might understand it enough to actually do a video on it. So that's what this jobby is. And you want to do that... Actually, this is going to be right behind the skimmer, anode, shut off. That's going to come down to a 45 and then another 45 and then go directly into the inlet of the pump, which I've got a two inch uh, coupler, screw coupler here. Then I've got an, uh, a reducer, a, excuse me a two inch screw to half inch slip no two inch screw to two inch slip and then a two inch slip to a inch and a half slip uh coupler or adapter there so that's going to be the intake that's coming from the skimmer sucking into there and then that's going to go through the pump go through the sand filter and then back out into a 45, a T, that will then connect this one, which is the far side right there, connect that one with a big long pipe, connect that one right there at the corner, and then this one is the right hand side here, come down, ooh, that's what this is, comes down to that, comes down, tees, does, does another tee to tie those two in, and then goes to our outlet of our pump. There is all of our plumbing. And uh, when Jonathan and Patrick were here, we went ahead and drilled those holes because I already had the jets. And so now that I've got my skimmer and my three jets, all we've got to do now is start the plumbing. Um, nom, 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 nom. And I went ahead and put those on um, off camera. I mean, that's pretty simple stuff. Uh, and the wife and I were talking. Look how uneven those are. See how I brought that together? I mean, that ain't going to do nothing now. Uh, but the wife and I were talking it would not hurt one thing at all to about right here come up with you see that you see me i shouldn't have done that last adjustment come up 
with a piece of C channel at an angle that's hot. Piece of C chain C channel, get a big long piece. Uh, cut bird's mouth to where I can take the ends, fold them down at like a what would that be? 22 and I don't know what angle that would be. So you've got a long piece all the way down. Those side pieces will come down and connect. I'll make some plates to put those on right there, weld them to the ends or weld it to the plate and then put the bolt the plates through. That's a cool looking bug right there. What are you doing? Little buggy, little buggy. Uh, I try not to hurt insects inside or out. If they're inside, just put them on a piece of tissue paper or a uh, paper towel and go put them outside. Um, it takes the same amount of effort to do that than it does to kill it and clean it up. Think about that next time you got a little insect or a critter. Uh, yeah, so I never kill them, even if they're crazy looking. They can't help it. They get stuck to this primer and I hate it for them. Um, but what we'll do is we'll come up and do that big support piece. And then that gives us the option of having like some maybe handlebars so we can swing up and jump down into the pool. I don't know. It's not going to hurt to do that. Uh, I'm just adding things one after another. Got to do that before my other buddy, Danny, comes. He's going to be here this weekend um, and spend about three days with us. So I need to have that built and ready to install. That's going to be heavy. Um, I got the tractor, but I can't really get the tractor in because I've already welded the door shut. All right. Good job, Ryan. So I got to do that before he gets here. Got to spray the... I got to do that before I can spray the primer. Today's Saturday. Uh, Seaton's is closed. That's where I get all the metal from. And I don't have... Do I have enough metal to do that yeah i'll just kind of show you what i'm thinking about before we get our plumbing going because this just transpired uh and if you remember in the last video i say ah, it's it's good to have somewhat of an idea of where you're going with projects so you're not just going into a block but if you leave your project malleable uh which means that it can take shape over time, you can continue to add to it. Do I even need this big thick wall stuff, man? That's if I have it here. Ha. Ha. Basically make something like that. You don't see that? Yeah. Basically make something Like that, to put up at the top. I'm gonna have to get a longer piece because that's not, that's only like five and a half feet or so. Oh, so that's that. God, I just add more and more things. I wanna swim so bad. All right, let's do some plumbing. Mad praise to those uh, uh, plumbing and pool building channels. And it's hard as crap to kind of film this and make it exciting. Uh, I got the skimmer in, just looking at how it, it's going to pull up. I think it's going to pull up tight to it nicely. All right, so we got those, got all the jets in. I mean, it's starting to look like a dang pool. I mean, what do I put on these threads? Um, silicone? Oh, I never get them off. All right, uh, how are we gonna cut it? What did I bring down here to cut it? I just got a little handsaw. I'm doing a terrible job this episode. Sorry, everybody. It's hot. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, now this one, I figured we start with, where, where are y'all at? Yeah, you can see me. So what we're going to need to do is have a stub, a little snubby nose, that's going to come straight down. The only thing about that, yeah, because I can unscrew this if I ever need to replace it. Uh, the thing on plumbing, 
I might just be talking out my butt, but I feel like you would want to leave yourself enough to where you could put a coupler on there when the opportunity arises. On this one, I don't want to have to rebuy one of those jets, but I've got this screw on coupler uh, adapter here. And I've got this 90 or this, yeah, 90, 90, 45. Oh my God. Hot. I need to drink some water. Uh, but yeah, kick it. See now I could go straight down, but then that's going to add one more fitting. So what I'm thinking is since I've got the clearance to use a little snub nose, I'll snub nose it. Yeah, that's right above the deck. What I'll do is I'll make this, I'll make this piece first. And I'm going to utilize this little lip right here or will the water vibrate. I should put rubber. See, working on heavy equipment, um, you know, the vibration of the hydraulic hoses in the engine will eventually lead to it wearing through that thick, uh, heavy hydraulic hose. Uh, I mean, that stuff carries two to four to 8,000 PSI. Um, this is going to have fluid running through it. It will have a light vibration. So what I'll probably do is put a little sticker or a little slab of rubber right there. Um, so I probably need to get this mounted first. Make me some support pieces. Something like that. I'm going to make it simple, man. Yeah? Yeah? See where I'm going? Drive that in. And, uh... Zip tie it. Ah! That's what we're gonna do. How many of these do I need to make? A bunch? I'm gonna let y'all in on two secrets. One, I am a huge Chuck Mangione fan. Uh, I found Chuck Mangione from watching King of the Hill. Uh, he did the Feel So Good theme song for the Megalomart. And then I looked up the rest of his stuff and I really like it. Um, second, I really, really enjoy doing... Oh, I cut all these by hand. It's quite therapeutic, you know, out here, silent. Uh, I really enjoy these, this big project. I've gotten... I mean, I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now. What's the best way to word that? I've gotten more reward personally from doing these bigger challenging projects from trying to come up with a little video to do every week. Um, with that being said, I've got two more projects that I have in mind. Uh, actually, there's another YouTube channel that I'm going to shout out. And uh, he's a good buddy of mine. And after I'm done with this, we're going to do a collaboration video together. If y'all like just nice, peaceful, relaxing fishing videos, Wood Burger Fishing. Wood Burger Fishing. I'll put a link to his uh, channel down below. That's my buddy Davey. Uh, yeah, he's got some awesome content. Um, him and his family just go out fishing and, you know, have fun. And it's just nice, wholesome entertainment. But uh, we're going to be building a trebuchet. Um, when I can get swimming onto this, we'll be going to be building a trebuchet. But after that, my next big project that I'm going to do in a couple different uh, series. I want to make a green wood chair. Yeah. Uh, like I want to find a tree that I go and chop down or that's been chopped down within whatever set amount of time. Uh, get all the toolage together to where it's all hand tools. And I make a chair from a green piece of wood. It's called a green wood chair. Uh, yeah, uh, another YouTuber, Alex Steele. He's got a huge channel. Awesome. Uh, I'll throw his stuff up. Um, but him and his dad made a green wood chair, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. So I think that I'm going to 
test my old woodworking skills, especially my hand uh, tool uh, skills. Um, I need to do that. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next after this series. Yeah, <laughs> trebuchet with wood booger fishing. And uh, then I'm probably going to make a green wood chair. So, yeah, just uh, let you guys know a little bit of baby secret. Mm-hmm. Rich fried taters. Uh -huh. I think having that offset just a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do that and then we'll zip zip with some uh with some holes in this and run a zip tie through it. Nice and simple fix. I'll probably go ahead and do that for the first one and get it hung. Uh so that way I can hold up the rest of them and do it like that. Uh, and what I might do is come back with some of that uh, plastic plumbing strapping. Um, or maybe two or three zip ties. I don't know. And I'm back from the store. <laughs> Tell you what, man. You try to get somebody to get one of those boxes from on top of the, you know, all the other stuff at any of the big box stores. It's like asking them to do brain surgery. I mean, oh, if I went to work, I put my work shoes on, knowing that I need to go out into the workforce and do work. My God, that's just what the heck I would do. I don't believe I would be complaining or dragging my butt. I mean, isn't that why you're there? You're there to work? I don't know. All right, so we'll cut that back side. And uh, we'll use that to do the one on the other side. Ow. I'm push them together like I'm gluing them for this here dry fit. Probably, I got a little deburr. Deburr. Dunzo. Ow. I got little metal beers all over me. See, now that I got that, I slide that into place. It'd be about three and a half. Get the old work table out. That's crooked. Oh, get out. And uh, I've got one of those D bears in the shop. I am lightheaded every time I get up. Golly. That goes down. Yeah. On, off, on, off, on, off. And then what I'll probably do is put a stake right here. Because all that down there is pretty well suited. I'll put one here because that's off the ground. How are you going to screw to that, Brian? Right on. I don't know. Bam. And we'll screw that to there. Give that some rigid. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. All right. Let's move to the back. I'll try to catch the turkeys next time they're out. I had a heap of them over here today. I need to... one of those days it rolled it rolled 100% underneath if I was a spider that's where I'd hang out ah. 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 and I'll make a little wooden base for this I should probably do that now alrighty nothing pretty it's gonna be covered up 
right there. Keep putting it together and undoing it. And see, then I'll drive some stakes down into the ground and screw that in and then level up the other side with a couple more stakey wakeys. God, I keep getting dizzy. I think sinuses. Yeah, yeah. It's not really an art form to it, is it? That's where it wants to sit. I'm going to do it side grain. Side grain. Could have poured a pad for it, but I did not. Kick up like that. Two. 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 So just stay right now. I'm put some screws in it. Yeah, you're. Oh. Probably gonna cut it here in a little bit for the day. Uh, I got dinner coming. And I want to eat it when it is warm. Found it. I found it when I was up there looking for something else because I need a plum level. Believe it or not, something that I don't have yet. I'm waiting to get like a a metal lathe. I think that'd be how. I think that'd be a cool project for that. What does that say? Yeah, food's headed home. But I got my air chuck here. See where I'm going with that? Just got a bit of this here strangy. Huh? Put it like right there. And see, because if this one's right, then I know the other one will be identical. See, then we'll make the other one the same and we'll just lift that off the ground because it, it's a downward slow path. Hot dang. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to go eat. I'm going to call it a day. Um, probably come back Monday. Probably take tomorrow off. See, I bet you, <laughs> I bet you my neighbor sees me coming outside with the camera and he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Let me go cut my grass real fast. Well, it is Monday. Uh -huh. I just got done with work. Had two breakdowns. Um, not that dirty. I've already wiped my legs up pretty good, but I was, I was pretty nasty. Uh, my screener broke down and then my crane broke down. Oh, the joys. But um, I'm cutting these little bitty pieces and my chop saw inside, it's a cobalt. I've got a, one of those little toggle switches that uh, depress down when you hit the trigger. Uh, it malfunctioned and it caught on fire. It's just one thing after another. Um, so holding these little pieces, I've got this one by one pressure treated, uh, I think it's actually railing stock, but you can put your inch and a half in there pretty good. Hold it, you know, give you a little bit more leverage to hold it are my cuts getting straighter by hand no no they are not um so i've made up two identical ones because they're the same distance on the uh pull let's get these up we'll figure out the bottom i'm kind of jumping around filming it's hard filming this plumbing stuff because, I mean, it's boring as crap. It's better just to show it when it's done. But that way, at least you believe that I did it. 
how awesome would it be if I had like little little plumbing gnomes that came in here at night? I don't know if they have those. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Starting to, starting to real, maybe look like a little bit of a pool plumbing. Of course, this is how much I got left after those four stick. Back down to the old uh, beyond section of that bed bath. Beyond. Um, that's pretty in line. Actually, let me show you what I've been doing. I actually worked out really well. That's the male guy. Put Bart in there inside this time. That way he's not hollering at everybody. Um, this one doesn't, but this fits pretty well into that. I've just been kind of doing that to get eyeball close because I don't have a plumb level. Look at that. And this isn't attached yet. So that way I'll still be able to kind of maneuver. So we need to go up to, I mean, I don't lack much. Look at that. A foot is what I needed. That's the plumbing. Actually, I think my dust collection, dust collection system for my shop vac either has two inch or inch and a half. I'm going to go check that and I might rob it so I don't have to go to the old store. I'll be back. <laughs> ah. What do, you, what do you think you guys are over here now? Well, that took forever. Went to Lowe's. Then I went by my local automotive paint supply shop because old Sherwin Williams was the wire face. They did not have anything at all from which, from whence I was looking. Um, so I went by my local automata, automotive paint supplier. I got hooked right up. Um, and that's gonna be for the inside, priming the inside to do the old uh, poncho. Um, cause this video is pretty much wrapped up. Um, I've already edited the, the top part. Um, everything pretty much from what I've, uh, filmed today. What do you think? Make a long piece and just cut my pieces out of it? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and I've got everything here except for the pond shield. The pond shield will be here, uh, Thursday. Tomorrow? Wednesday and um, the electrical guys are coming I think tomorrow or the next day to start the electrical Woo! Can you see it Can you I See it I, I see the finished pool It's in sight Yeah, that's gonna be good. Make sure all this stuff right here huh, is uh not see that that gives me a little leverage or leeway as it were. And we see we really could cut let's cut right there for the the old valve. Um I hate to spit on the camera. Ryan. I've, uh, I've done all the plumbing. That's my last cut. It's a little bit straighter than all the other ones. Am I using this one or the other one? Ooh, ooh, like that. Like that yet. Made that piece a little short. Yeah. <sighs>
luckily, I just made this piece. These things are pretty cool. I, uh, I got one of these when I was making rings out of coins. Um, if anybody wants to see one of those videos, let me know, but just the best, the inside. I use my thumb for the outside. Pull stuff, pull stuff, pull stuff. All right, we're done. Let's do a walk around. I'm gonna clean up. We'll do a walk around and uh, show you what I did. All right, well, we got all of the plumbing dry fit and I figured I'd go over everything with one quick little two, three minute deal. That way you can see uh, everything. Basically, the water's gonna be in here. This is this is the level that depicts your water line is the middle of your skimmer You want to give yourself like an inch to an inch and a half up or down for evaporation Because you don't want it to go below here because then you'll you'll starve your pump of water and burn out your pump So water goes Hold on let me walk around So you're the water and then there's gonna be a little catcher here that's gonna catch the big debris. It's gonna go down here with it open. It's gonna go down here. It's all the water will pass uh, across the bonding electrode that's in here. And I'll do a separate video on how to bond a pool. Not that I'm an expert, but I've watched, I don't know, seven or eight YouTube videos. Um, so I'm a pro now. So then the water comes down here, goes into my pump. It's gonna go through a secondary uh, little strainer there go into the pump it gets pumped into here because remember this is sucking this is the intake of the pump so it sucks the water in then the water will go into here go into my sand filter uh, and that will filter out all the small stuff it'll go return so that is the water pumping out out of the pump into this little divider here uh, then it goes to one jet that you can turn off and on and isolate. It goes to another jet that you can turn off and then on and isolate. Then it goes... And I haven't, um, I haven't attached those with the, the plumbing uh, hanger tape. I got that stuff. But... Up to another jet that you can isolate, turn off, or that's on, or off. That's always gonna be your flow of water. It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's all the plumbing. We got that done. Check and check. What's next? Uh, get ready for the pond shield. Pond shield should be here, uh, I think Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Um, but before that, I went ahead while I was out and I got that other stick of tube, um, pipe. Oh my God. Went ahead and got me a semi-cheap gravity fed sprayer with the regulator on there. That way I can turn it down. Self etching primer. Look at this stuff. So I've got four quarts of this, uh, I need about a gallon to cover about 600, 500 and something square feet. That's roughly what I got. Um, that's going to be the next episode is, is doing this and then applying the pond shield. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'll go over how to, how to prep and all that stuff if you want to prep your metal. Um, I sat and I talked to the guy down at my local uh, automotive paint supply shop and uh, he kind of gave me the rundown on how to, how to get this thing ready. Um, maybe he subscribed. I told him all about it. He gets excited. Uh, everybody I talk to about this thing gets pretty pumped up about it. I'm really, really excited about it. I just, I can't get over how far it's come in such a short period of time. Cause you gotta think, I'm doing this in my spare time. I have a full-time job 
that I wake up at like 5.30 every morning, I go to work, come home, and then I'm a dad. But before my family and my kids come home, I come out here and I slam as much work in as I can. Because uh, come five o'clock, it is family time. So I think I did pretty good in my spare time. Um, yeah, we got that cleaned up. Uh, about to mow, so I need to get that stuff cleared up. Um, I got my wood. And I got, this wood is, it's outside, so that's why it's all wonkety. I could just lay it flat and give it an hour or so and it'll be flat again. Um, but I got this to make the template for the window. And then there's my window. And see, I've got that second piece. You see it down there? That second window, thought about putting right there. What do you think? Well, it's more work. I know, I know. But I think in the end result, uh, it'll be cooler. And that's, that's what we're trying to do, is to make sure I'm pretty dang cool. Uh, we got some patterns in for the paint. We're gonna do some cool patterns and stuff. Um, while I was talking to the guy about the paint, uh, I said, hey, that paint's gonna wanna go on semi-cool metal, right? It's not gonna go, wanna go on metal that's hot. So I got a tarp. Ah! We'll put that tarp up and let it start cooling down. And then I've got to do A, B, C, and D, and then E, and then F before G gets here. Um, I guess I'm gonna go to the Seaton's tomorrow and get a steel beam. Um, it's a lot of fabricating. It's what you hate about pine trees. That's a tick. Now, I don't kill very many critters, but I absolutely hate ticks. Um, yeah, so if you've, got, if you've got a lot of hair like I do, you can always feel it. Just put your old knife through it. Uh, are we done with this video? I think we're done. Um, thanks again for hanging out to the end. Uh, thanks for all the positive support and comments. Any kind of interaction on here I love because uh, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about it. So if you have it, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if there's something that I did and you're like, oh my God, why is he doing it that way? Let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up for anything. I'm going at this thing halfway blind. I mean, I'm a maker. I'm not a professional at anything. Um, that's why I stopped and I talked to the paint guy. That's why I called up the pawn shield guy. That's why I had, you know, buddies over here that had done plumbing before. I mean, that's, that's why we have friends in each other. And I'd, I'd, like, to, I'd like to call you guys my friends, you know, because y'all are following me along and you're watching my stuff. So... I take advice from friends, you know what I mean? So don't, don't be afraid to leave me something. Uh, I guess with that being said, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it. Yeah. Till we meet again. Little super tramp. All right, bye.